Hi folks, um, I don't want to be a fear monger by uh, titling this little post the way I have, but uh, it's significant information, it's interesting, and uh, you need to know about it, uh, so I, I did this to get your attention. There's an article posted today, uh, a paper written by um, the National Institute for Nuclear Physics, uh, the Italian National Institute for Nuclear Physics, in conjunction with a number of other agencies, uh, such as the Colorado Center for Astrodynamic Research. Um, it's hard science, scientists, this is not conspiracy theory stuff, uh, this is all hard science data, and there has been a uh, relatively recent um, significant anomaly uh, which will be of interest to you. Um, the graphic we're looking at is from the the article, uh, from the paper, and over on the left you'll see the loop current. Okay, You've all probably heard about the loop current at this point. The loop current, uh, warm water comes up into the Gulf of Mexico, makes its way around the tip of Florida, and uh, moves its way across the Atlantic to the North Sea. Keeps Europe nice and warm, relatively speaking. Keeps Reykjavik a great party town. In other words, uh, keeps these countries livable and not, uh, say, under three miles of ice like most of the Midwest United States was as recent as 10,000 years ago. Which brings up a point. Uh, people have talked a lot about global warming, uh, which has now changed to uh, climate change, whether you believe it or not. Uh, what is a fact is ice ages have existed. There's plenty of historic precedent for them. They've been studied in depth. And when ice ages start, scientists have speculated that the trigger mechanism, the tipping point, the event horizon, whatever you want to call it, occurs when the global conveyor belt, the loop current, stops functioning. Okay, and once you reach that point, uh, there, there's there's some uh, event horizon beyond which uh, you have ice age that lasts for millennia, and the transition period is often very abrupt. You know, within a couple years or so. Anyway, scientists studying the data, the altimetry particularly of the gulf here, which shows the current flows, the temperature of the water. If you notice on the left here, there's a nice loop current over on the right, which represents a month and a half later. You'll notice that there is a clockwise eddy right in the middle of the gulf, and that it has dislocated itself completely from the lower current band. Again, in uh, studying this, uh, the data for years, this is an anomaly. This is unprecedented. This is a significant event. What it is, what you are looking at, is the breakage of the loop current. Okay. Now, whether this is just beginning and this is a temporary phenomena, or whether this is a permanent uh, fracture, who knows? Speculation as to cause? Well, uh, this article uh, would tend to point to the little star that's all the way uh, up in the top, which is the Deep Horizon Well, um, and the uh, millions and millions of oil which have flowed into, uh, flowed into the Gulf. Whatever the cause is, uh, the important thing to note here is, again, these are not conspiracy theorists. These are not people trying to save your soul because they believe it's end of times. These are scientists studying hard data. This is a significant event. And what it portends, well, you should read this article. It's going to, uh, this paper is going to be linked below. Um, but the BP oil spill may cause an irreparable damage to the Gulf Stream global climate thermoregulation activity. In other words, ice age. No joke. Um, I really don't know how to follow this up other than to say uh, do the research and uh, thank you to Andrew for pointing this paper out to me. Uh, very interesting and it's uh, <laughs> talk about not being a fear monger this is the scariest thing I've seen yet because these are real scientists uh, pointing to an actual event which is still at this very moment uh, occurring and apparently worsening. Take care.